Welcome back to another video. My name is Evan Ulbricht and today I'm going to be talking about everything you guys need to know to print your photos. So I'm going to be talking from different materials to sizes of photos that you guys want to print. So first off, let me show you guys this real quick. And this is everything that I've been printing recently. And these look really good. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I'll be talking about. And yeah, these look really good. And so right off, I'll get started with the materials. So let me show you guys right here. Put this back on here. So there's three different materials that I really like, which are paper and then paper backed on cardboard and then aluminum. So like these, these are obviously just paper and there's big reflection on them, but <laughs> these look really good. And if you look up close, I mean, really clean detail, just look really good. Everything about the wave. And then I was using a pretty low aperture, so it kind of fades off in the background and just looks really clean up here where I was focused in on, which is up on the wave. So this looks really clean and this is just a high quality paper. And everything that I get printed from is Nation's Photo Lab. And this is just the, the paper from that. And you wanna be careful because obviously you'll, you'll bend them and kind of ruin them, but these are kind of just to show you guys. And this is a different one that has kind of a pink color scheme. And this one just turned out really good. So, and the quality up here is just amazing. And you can see right here and stuff, the colors are just, just crazy. But just looks really good and super happy with these. And these prints are super cheap to do. They're only a couple dollars. I think this was like maybe $5 to get those, those printed. So super cheap uh, from Nation's Photo Lab. And those are obviously just paper. And this is paper backed on cardboard. So as you can see, there's a little thing right here that's just on cardboard. So the back's just plain. And this is super nice for kind of like shipping. So obviously it's hard, so you can't like really bend it or anything. And like these, obviously, if you know, they're flopping around, like it has a crease up here. So that stuff happens where this is super nice because it's super durable. And it's, this one I think was like 20 bucks to print. So it's obviously a little bit more expensive, but it has this right here. So it's going to last a lot longer and I just sit it on my desk. So if it's like this, you don't even really need to frame it because of the material behind it. And it's super nice. And I've had this on my desk for a couple of months now and it's definitely starting to fade a little bit and there's some spots, but overall just some really good stuff. And you can see I spilled some stuff on there, but the prints are just really high quality. You can see right there. The turtle and then the background, super nice colors, just super nice about everything with the print. So super happy with all these prints. And I also have this one, which is a 20 by 30. So these are 12 by 18s and it's a 20 by 30, which is pretty big. So as you can see, same one that I showed you guys on the paper. And this one's just the same one that's backed with a cardboard. So super good prints. And then as you see on my wall right here, let me try to zoom in real quick. That is one of my most popular photos and that is just paper in a frame. And the only thing that I don't like about the paper in the frames is that you get a big glare. So I don't even have like a ton of lights on right now. So the glare is pretty bad, but also I'm in a dorm room. So the lighting is not the best either. So it's kind of what you get, but overall, I definitely really like the paper out of these two and I kind of just like the paper with um, with the frame because if you have good lighting and a nice frame, I got this frame off Amazon so it's obviously not the nicest but these, these look nice but over time they'll definitely get kind of scratched out and diminish just because there's nothing covering it. Where that, these will last forever and they're in a frame so even if you want to change the frame out eventually the photo is still perfect condition. So yeah, that's another thing to think about when you're printing your photos or just want to print them for yourselves or even selling them. Um, and then my last material that this is actually the first one I've gotten printed from Nation's Photo Lab on metal. So this one's super nice. The, the mounting's a little nice, but so you just put basically the bolts in here and then you're good to go. So super nice. Uh, put the screws in there 
and this one looks just really really crazy the colors like you can see the glare is just crazy because the colors are so insane but I mean even just how clear it is is just so nice and you can see like this on a wall will just look so good obviously you do want good lighting though or else you'll get a big glare as well but I mean the colors on the aluminum prints just always look so good and a lot of my wave photos at my house and stuff are all printed on aluminum because they last so long. So I've gotten them printed on from Costco before and I've had them for three years and they look really good on aluminum still. So this is obviously more high quality so this is going to last a long time. So yeah, definitely I think aluminum is my favorite so far but these are definitely a lot more expensive because I know this one was around $80 where the same thing for this one was $25. So, you kind of have to pick which one, but I definitely think the aluminum is worth it because it'll also last a lot longer, the colors look better, and just stuff with shipping and stuff, it's not really going to get damaged as easily because obviously it's aluminum, so it's a lot stronger. Um, and for this, for my prints at least, uh, there's different ways to sell them, which I know if you guys are watching this, you guys are probably thinking about everything about different styles of printing and if you want to do them for yourself or for your business. And there's two different ways you could drop ship or just have a bunch of these. Like I could order a hundred of these. And then if you guys even want some of these photos, you can look at my website. So if you guys go on my website and bought a photo, then uh, I could either drop ship it to you or just have inventory of these. So inventory would be, hey, I got a hundred of these. I just buy them and I have them in my room. And then when someone buys them, I'll ship them out to you. Where drop shipping is where if you guys order them, then I buy them directly from nation's photo lab and then i just ship it directly to you so i basically don't have any inventory which is going to be a little more expensive but also you don't have inventory which makes it easier so, and since i'm living in the dorm right now i'm doing the drop shipping method just because it's a lot easier for me and i know i'm getting high quality photos from nation's photo lab and i don't really have to worry about it because you know if i'm printing something like this i don't really have to worry about it being damaged or anything like that and you can obviously, for Nation's Photo Lab, you can ask them and be like, hey, make sure the print quality is good uh, and make sure the print's good before you ship it off to this customer. So those are kind of different ways to handle those. Um, but yeah, let me talk to you guys about exporting uh, the photos from Lightroom or kind of whatever you do and just the settings that you need to do for that and the megapixels from your camera and how that kind of differs from the quality because this was taken on a Canon R5 which is a big like uh, camera, which has a lot of megapixels, big sensor. So this is obviously going to be really clean. Where this is taken from R5, but this is taken from a Canon 70D. So from this size, you can't even tell which one. Like I actually think this one looks better, just because it's obviously closer up. But this was taken on a way cheaper camera uh, than the other one was. So there's kind of different ways to print depending on how big sensors and stuff in your camera where the one right here on the wall is also taken from my Canon 70D which was I think 20 megapixels and it was a crop sensor where my R5 is a full uh, sensor with like 50 megapixels so a huge difference but you can only really tell if you're gonna blow it up pretty big so this one is on my Canon R5 and it looks perfect so I think you can definitely tell on that one compared to other ones but uh, let me show you guys kind of the differences and how you guys can figure out what size you should print uh, and kind of how to export that. So let me go to my desk and I'll show you guys in Lightroom. All right, guys. So I'm at my computer right here. And let me kind of show you what uh, I'm talking about when I'm talking about different resolution and kind of different output sharpening that you guys can add to your photos from Lightroom, which is just kind of what I use a lot. And uh, yeah, so let me show you guys real quick. So for here image type, uh, I always put JPEG, just because that's kind of the normal thing. Uh, and then you want full size. And sometimes I do custom where it's like, if I do a big photo, then the long side, like a 20 by 30. This is what I did for the pink one back there, the 20 by 30 that I showed you guys. I put 30 for the long side. Um, yeah, and that looks really good. So you guys can do that, or just full size is what I do a lot as well. And as you can see, Right here, so basically it just makes it bigger. So right here, this photo full size is 49.2 megapixels. So that's why that's why that looks so good because it's a huge, huge photo. 
where if I do custom and then do 30, you can see it right here on uh, the corner, it'll load and then show me how big it is. So let's see, 55. So just a little bit bigger, but still, that's a huge difference. Like if you're if you do a 15 megapixel photo and you then you uh, up it to 20, big difference right there. So definitely, if you guys don't have uh, like great cameras or a crop sensor, that could be an option for you as well to make your photos just a little bit bigger to make them look better. So quality right here is going to be at 100%. Obviously, make sure that at 100% too. I know in Photoshop and stuff. Uh, when you first download it and stuff, it's not at 100% normally, so you definitely want to check that because that's pretty big. Uh, and then you want all metadata, uh, file naming doesn't really matter, and then output sharpening. Usually, I put this to the paper. So if I'm if I'm posting this on something, I'll usually do a screen, uh, and then obviously I do glossy paper because that's what I print my stuff on because I think that looks the best for stuff that I do. So obviously, glossy paper. And then color space sRGB. So I feel like that's kind of that's kind of what you're supposed to do. And then you can also do for output sharpening is uh, low, standard, and high. So I usually just do standard. But I did that on the aluminum photo, and obviously you can see it looked really good uh, and really glossy. So yeah, super excited with that. Obviously you guys can mess around with this too and order small prints and kind of just see different settings that you guys like. Like maybe you do one with glossy paper. And then you do a high one, a low one, and a standard one just to see kind of kind of what it looks like and the difference if you really want to get into printing. Because obviously I'm not, you know, I don't know the science of all that stuff and actually like how to professionally print. This is just what I've been doing to print and it looks really good. And I've been selling these photos. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys want to do that, there's definitely other tools to learn that. But I do want to say you guys don't have to have the biggest... And nicest cameras to be printing photos and selling photos either because uh, I started off with a GoPro and that thing was not good at all but I mean I was selling photos my GoPro and now um, obviously I have a better camera now and if you go to my website you guys can see like these photos look a lot better but I mean the photos that I was taking at first were not good at all so these are some of the photos that I showed you guys right here and these were taken with a Canon 70D. So I don't know if you guys can even tell, but like right here, uh, yeah, I mean, these photos look good. So, I mean, you guys can't even really tell. This is taken on a Canon 70D, this, this. The only one that's taken on the R5 are these three up top. So you guys probably couldn't even tell, or maybe you thought these were the 70Ds. So definitely have fun with your photos. Last thing I wanted to talk to you guys was, was about drop shipping. So right here, Nation's Photo Lab. Um, I got a little photo in my cart and $8 subtotal so you can get some photos for pretty cheap. I think this was like an 11 by 14 or something. Which photos I was showing you guys were 12 by 18 so around the same size. But right here as you can see uh, in the shipping you just click drop ship and yeah you ship it off so it's super easy. All you do is get an order, you basically get paid, uh, then you pay for the print and then ship it out and that's all you have to do. Where normally you'd have to keep an inventory, which is definitely a little bit harder, especially if you live in a dorm like I do. So that's kind of what I do right now, which is dropship. You just click dropship, and then it kind of shows you right now, right there. Um, so yeah, makes it super easy, and especially uh, you know if you're super busy and stuff, and where you don't have to go ship stuff, which this might not be like as cheap as just buying a bunch because with shipping and stuff, but also you don't have to buy packaging, and just makes everything a lot easier. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something. Let me know what video you guys want to see next and let me know what you learned in this video. Thank you and see you next video.